In North Carolina, flight is in our nature. And what nature it is. With the Blue Ridge Mountains rising in the west, the rolling hills and rivers of the central Piedmont, and the rich fields and sunny beaches of the coastal plain. It's no wonder that our state draws bright minds from around the globe. Perhaps you've heard of a couple. In 1903, the natural conditions on North Carolina's Outer Banks led brothers Orville and Wilbur Wright to choose Kitty Hawk as the spot from which to present humankind with its wings, launching us into the era of powered flight. Their successful experiment was only the beginning of industries that, to this day, epitomize progress, innovation, and the future. In the same way that North Carolina was a natural choice for the Wright brothers, it has become that for today's aviation and aerospace industries. With a motivated, trainable workforce and the nation's first and best customized industrial training program, led by the North Carolina Community College System, the state offers a business climate unmatched anywhere. For more than half a century, we have continually perfected skills training for industry, crafting programs tailor-made for companies in every manufacturing sector. Our statewide network of campuses and training centers ensures a steady stream of people who can not only fly aircraft, but can also perform everything from the engine overhaul of a two-seater turboprop to adjustment of the trim tab controls on a jet airliner. Curious? Then let us show you how the North Carolina Community College System produces the aviation and aerospace workforce your company needs naturally. Aerospace is a cutting edge field employing hundreds of thousands of professionals nationwide in the commercial and defense arenas, including many thousands right here in North Carolina. It's vital work that moves us forward and keeps us safe, and it's growing all the time. To satisfy staffing demand, your company might be seeking anyone from engineers, pilots and welders, to composite and sheet metal fabricators, maintenance technicians, supervisors, and other labor design or managerial jobs. To meet those needs, our learning institutions offer a broad range of curriculum and aerospace-influenced vocational programs. These include mechanical engineering, computer-assisted design, machining, and aviation management technology. In North Carolina, we have 58 community colleges. These 58 community colleges serve all 100 counties with 160 campuses statewide. Those 160 campuses serve 850,000 students annually. Our instructors touch a lot of lives. In recent years, our student numbers have reached the equivalent of one of every eight North Carolinians. Major aerospace and aviation training initiatives at our community colleges constantly prepare students for work in newly created industry jobs. This state, first in flight and the 10th most populous in the nation, is a burgeoning hub of aerospace companies, offering opportunities in both civilian and military fields. In manufacturing and maintenance, we're proactive and flexible, staying ahead of industry needs and through ties to industry, our community colleges do the same, benefiting students and adding value to businesses. The industry always needs new skills. We always have something new, it's not static. And we need someone to teach those skills and it changes rapidly. And that's what the community college system does for us. The North Carolina Community College System is a national leader in linking individuals with employment. Grounding their academic pathways to industry-based credentials helps ensure that the individuals can advance. North Carolina is ahead of the country on this front. Just east of Charlotte, in the town of Monroe, is South Piedmont Community College. At one of its three campuses in the area, the college recently inaugurated the Aerospace and Advanced Manufacturing Training Center, a first-of-its-kind facility for the region. Covering 4,000 square feet, it houses more than $1 million in equipment for training in mechatronics, industrial maintenance, robotics, programmable logic controllers, and avionics, all in-demand skills in modern aerospace and aviation. This centerpiece is the flexible manufacturing system 
that gives students hands-on experience troubleshooting a live manufacturing line. Uh, here we do, we focus more on automation technicians for the maintenance side of the house. So you can see we've got a lot of specialized equipment, a lot of automated equipment, to robots, to PLCs. Everything we have in the shop, they get to put their hands on. Monroe boasts the highest concentration of aerospace companies in North Carolina, 12 within a seven mile radius, and 2,600 people in the area working within the industry. In this area particularly, there's a lot of high-tech manufacturing coming back, and they're needing skilled workers. And having taken these classes and having the certificate, that kind of gets me a foot in the door. It's honed my skills to where they're up to date with the latest technology as far as robotics, PLC control, and um, automation technology. Northeast of Charlotte is Jamestown, near Greensboro and home to Guilford Technical Community College. Opened in 1958, it's in North Carolina's Triad region and houses three aviation programs. The T.H. Davis Aviation Center at Guilford Tech is FAA licensed for up to 450 technicians at any one time. Operated in partnership with Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, it offers associate degrees in avionics technology, aviation systems, and aviation management and career pilot technology. A computer can't go out and work on an airplane. That's why the hands-on aspect here at Guilford Tech is so important, because not only do we give them the classroom theory, but we also have the equipment for them to come out and actually put their hands on, touch, and um, learn on the actual equipment they, that they could be working on in the industry. Through such activities as hands-on instruction with jet aircraft and work with companies like Honda Aircraft, the center prepares students to acquire FAA mechanics certification with airframe and power plant ratings. And upon graduation, students can work as qualified aircraft mechanics, technicians, painters, assemblers, and line operators. Aerospace today is looking for well-qualified applicants. The equipment that we have here to train with run from uh, actual aircraft that we take out and run, engines that we have in the back uh, to disassemble so they can learn how an aircraft engine works. So we have a 28-fold electrical trainer that simulates every system on the aircraft, a full uh, trainer uh, for avionics uh, and non-destructive training. So we have a, a huge array of things uh, to incorporate into the classroom as well. Past the Capitol Raleigh and down US 70 East is Goldsboro, site of Wayne Community College. Wayne graduates can earn an Associate of Applied Science degree in Aviation Systems Technology. Instruction allows for plenty of individual attention with average class sizes up about 20 students. The aviation program at Wayne is geared toward careers in aviation maintenance, and along with their associate degree, Wayne students may also receive an FAA Mechanics Airman Certificate. You need to take a look at all the different subject areas that are taught in an A&P course. Hydraulics, pneumatics, welding, sheet metal repair, composite repair, with Boeing and Airbus uh, leading the way with composite structures, and the tendency to move away from manual controls to fly-by-wire operations, uh, electronic applications, computers, uh, all come into play more and more nowadays in today's manufacturing environment. If they can receive that training in the fundamentals in an A&P school, it gives them a leg up in the industry when they go to pursue employment. Lenore Community College in Kinston conducts state-of-the-art training programs at the Spirit Aerosystems Composite Center of Excellence, formerly known as the Global Transpark Training Center. The center is located near the Global Transpark, which includes the Kinston Regional Jetport, boasting an 11,500-foot runway, the longest non-military runway in the state. In facilities adaptable to virtually any industry, Students are taught machining and metal forming, as well as CATIA, CAD, CAM, and CAE technologies. The college also houses a Haas Technical Education Center and Master CAM Certification Center. This area of the state has witnessed tremendous aerospace-related growth, 
including Spirit Aerosystems Composites Manufacturing Facility and employers like Mountaineer Cargo, also at the Global Trans Park, and the Fleet Readiness Center East at Cherry Point Marine Corps Air Station. There's a technical training program in this area, this region, that puts out over 3,000 technical workers a year, and that was very important to Spirit to get a hold of those people, get them in our workforce, and make them part of the Spirit team. Spirit's plan in North Carolina is to continue to grow. This partnership will allow us to continue that growth, continue to build onto this facility, continue to, to partner and create a skilled workforce, and then also the next generation of aerospace workers in North Carolina. Lenore Community College also offers customized workforce readiness training to support careers like composite and metal fabrication, aerostructure assembly, logistics and material handling, manufacturing process support, quality assurance, and automated machine operation and programming. At the Bosch and Siemens Advanced Manufacturing Center and the Institute of Aeronautical Technology at Craven Community College in New Bern, students are taught aviation maintenance on both civilian and military aircraft. FAA airframe and power plant exams are offered, as are aviation systems technical degrees necessary to meet industry needs. Hands-on training is provided on small private planes, while students also study aviation physics, basic electricity, fluid lines and fittings, and hydraulic and pneumatic power systems. My favorite area of study so far was probably sheet metal. I'm training for a job that I can use my hands. It excites me to be here, to be accepted, and to be following a job that I really like. I've always been intrigued with turning wrenches. I've always wanted to tear something apart and figure out how it worked and put it back together and it worked again. Students also learn how to operate the latest in component repair and fabrication equipment, including the five-axis router for composite materials. And Craven boasts a successful partnership with the Fleet Readiness Center East at the Marine Corps Air Station at Cherry Point and Havelock. It's a great relationship uh, for both parties involved, quite frankly. I think it's, it's good for them that uh, they've got, uh, they can point to the FRC, they've got a venue that, hey, we can, we can train you, uh, get you to take some classes, some courses, and uh, hey, there's an opportunity at the FRC right here to, to be employed. The community college system does a great job of preparing them for the real world. They work with us to look at employee readiness. They work with us to design courses for our employees, whether they're new employees or whether they're employees that are already here. Having the diverse workload that we have, we need people that have sheet metal backgrounds. We also need people that have the new technology, the composite workload. They worked with us to develop a composite curriculum and are training new employees and existing employees in the, the techniques needed to work on the composite aircraft. Possessing one of North Carolina's newest aviation schools, College of the Albemarle, has served citizens for half a century. The 40,000 square foot Currituck Aviation Training and Industrial Technology Training Center is located at Currituck Regional Airport, just minutes from the Elizabeth City Aviation Industrial Park. This state-of-the-art facility offers students a 5,000 square foot machining lab complete with a Haas, 5-axis CNC, and computerized water jet machine, lathes, and milling equipment. We got a 5,000 square foot machining lab that's got the latest in technology from Haas to, uh, to Lays to Milling. Next thing we got associated with that is we had a mechanical drafting. So now they have blueprint ready, they know how to do blueprint, then they can work to the machining, and then they can come to the airplane and put the part on. Uh, that's a uniqueness that I don't think you're going to find any, in any other school um, outside of North Carolina. With the growing demand for aviation mechanics, this training hub for the region offers aviation maintenance technology courses, so students receive a solid introduction to careers in aviation sheet metal, aircraft painting, avionics electrical, power plants, aviation hydraulics and pneumatics, welding, and aircraft design and construction. And in conjunction with NC State University, the college has designed smart classrooms to better accommodate technological advances in teaching and learning. Innovation is where our community colleges shine, and innovative industry programs and projects like these have sprung up all across the state. We maintain partnerships with NC State University, Fayetteville State University, and the North Carolina Military Business Center. Through them, we continue to support aircraft replacement part production for the Department of Defense and other federal agencies. 
over $11 million in Golden Leaf grants has been awarded to develop reverse engineering capabilities and advanced machining training centers. The skills resulting from those investments have been used in reverse engineering projects. Reverse engineering is part of the engineering uh, mindset now. It's, it's a talent that we all need and we have to do it accurately. And again, this is another area where you need to be able to, to scan and then convert those files into CAD models and from CAD models to toolpaths, from toolpaths to CNC programming and machining. So uh, that type of skill is taught at the community college. It's a hands-on skill, but it's a very applicable skill. It's not a general skill like some of the four-year larger institutions. It's specific to what needs to be done, and it makes them a, an employee that can hit the deck running. These and a host of other schools comprise an unmatched network of education, research, and competence on which your company can depend. In North Carolina, we're not only concerned about certifications, which are competency-based, we're also interested in the individual, making sure that they attain personal effectiveness skills and technical skills, as well as the academic and workplace skills that most of our programs provide, so that we create a complete employee for the aerospace and aviation industry. The number one issue for our industry to locate, to grow, and to remain in North Carolina is a well-skilled, well-trained workforce, and our community colleges are poised to support that. The future of America depends on the aviation and aerospace industries, and the future of these industries depends on a quality, educated workforce. North Carolina community colleges draw both sides together so students and industry can advance together. Discover why we're first in flight, first in training, and now the aerospace industry's natural choice for success.